So we started talking about Reagan yesterday, and you were supposed to put something you learned about him in the Canvas chat for the bell ringer. If you haven't gotten the media activity submitted, you can go ahead and do that later. You just needed 10 facts about each of the two parts and five interpretations for each. So for the notes today, let's talk about the second section on Ronald Reagan. And the reason why we spend a little bit more time on him, because as they indicate in the video, he's one of the more consequential presidents that has had an influence on every year since then. So, we would already mentioned that he believed in increased military spending, and he would continue to push that under his notion of peace through strength. He believed that we also had to have leading technology for our military. Leading technology. And the biggest part of that would be the strategic defense initiative. Strategic defense initiative. The idea was is that you use satellites in outer space to detect missiles fired from another country. They would send a signal down to our missile bases in the US, and then we'd be able to fire missiles to intercept them, to blow them up into space before they got to the Earth's atmosphere. So this kind of missile blocking type of technology. Today, we refer to this as the missile defense shield, but at the time, they referred to it as, as they said in the video, Star Wars. What's that? What's that again? When was Star Wars? The actual movies? Uh, late 70s, early 80s. Terrorism was another problem that Reagan had to worry about. It had started cropping up in the Middle East. Terrorists began using bombings, kidnappings, and hijackings. Bombings, kidnappings, and hijackings. Hijackings are when they take over a vehicle, mainly planes, in order to use them for their own purposes. We were helping the country of Lebanon fight these type of people. And so in return, one of our military barracks was blown up. So we were helping the country of Lebanon fight these kinds of people, and one of our military barracks was blown up. Also in Lebanon, some Americans were taken hostage by Iranians. So it brought us again into conflict with Iran. So in the country of Lebanon, so this did not happen in Iran, it happened in Lebanon. Some Americans were taken hostage by Iranians.
Like Carter before him, he discovered it was difficult to get them back. So Reagan's administration decided to sell weapons to the Iranians to get the hostages back. They then took the money that they made because they sold the weapons to the Iranians, so they made money off of it. They then took the money and gave it to a group called the Contras, which is spelled C-O-N-T-R-A-S. So they took the money and gave it to a group called the Contras. And the Contras were anti-communists in the country of Nicaragua. The Contras were anti-communists in the country of Nicaragua, which is, of course, in Latin America. Now, there are a lot of problems with this. One being we're never supposed to negotiate with terrorists because then they just keep terrorizing. Another is we were selling weapons, which we're really not supposed to do unless it's approved by Congress. Another problem was we were making money off of it and giving it away to somebody else, which we're not allowed to do without Congress. And so it ended up erupting into a big scandal known as the Iran-Contra scandal. The Iran-Contra scandal. Now, at the end of the video, they mentioned that Reagan, one of the concerns was that he was getting older. Well, he used this to his advantage. He basically said, I delegate a lot of my responsibilities. Other people in the administration did all this. I really don't remember anything about it. And he ended up basically filling out the rest of his administration without ever getting into trouble for it, because a lot of people believed him. And something they talked a little bit about in the video, after his military escalation, he started working more with the Soviet Union to reduce nuclear weapons. But at the same time, demanded that they tear down the Berlin Wall. We've already talked about that in the Cold War unit. Something else that started in the 80s was the disease known as AIDS. It was relatively new and completely misunderstood. People were often terrified of it. And it was widely seen as a disease that only impacted gay people and drug users. So there are a number of people, maybe even including Reagan, that thought it was just people getting what they deserved. So not a lot of effort was put into AIDS from the government during the Reagan years and is often seen as one of the darker marks on the Reagan administration. And I already mentioned, and they mentioned in the video, the anti-drug campaign mostly led by his wife, Nancy Reagan, of the Just Say No, which was heavily promoted. And then, of course, just a couple other things that eh, didn't necessarily happen because of Reagan, but they did happen during his administration. The increase in the use of personal computers, which exploded in the 1980s. And, of course, that's led to continual technological development till today. And probably the last thing that Reagan did have an impact on indirectly was the fact that despite the couple scandals there at the end, 
he was still incredibly popular. So it was relatively easy for his vice president, George H.W. Bush, to win the election in 1988. Nineteen eighty-eight. Also called Bush the Elder, since his son would also be president. So, for the remainder of the period, make sure you finish up that media document if you haven't already, and uh, work on the reading if you haven't gotten that finished yet. Tomorrow, we'll look at some of the culture of the eighties or nineties. There's two different slideshows that you can pick from and review, and comment on. And then later on in the week, we'll talk about George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, and then George Bush the Younger and Barack Obama.